I'm going to take a little different approach. Uh, having been able to produce the Jose Wezar show before and a number of other things, I think it's important for Channel 36 and all the other public stations not to ask what you guys can do for them, but really think about what they can do for you. You just go to www.la36.org, you'll find more information about the cultural, arts, sports, education of this city than anything. I get uh, Council Member Smith's emails. I would love to see on the bottom of those emails, check www.la36.org for any information you want, ranging from the Gay Man's Choir to the, to the East LA Classic to the academic decathlon that they televise, their website, their programming, everything is there to serve you, our city. So it's really more what they can do for you guys than what you guys can do for them. Take advantage of it. I know Bill, Councilman Rosendahl, really knows how to do that, but please, all of you, take advantage of their opportunity. Okay. Uh, my name is Betsy Rosenfeld. I'm here from the Center for Governmental Studies on behalf of LA36. We have been working with LA36 for five years now, and it's been an amazingly productive relationship. We've been able to educate hundreds of thousands of Americans using Video Voter, and much of that came from LA36. And I really am here to encourage you to look at keeping LA36 as a wonderful hybrid model that I think is an important way to move forward in this tough economic time. Their production values are incredibly high, and we have also worked with LA35, and I'd like to say that they're wonderful to work with as well, but uh, LA36 and I have really had a wonderful relationship, and it's important to look at the quality of the programming that these stations put out, and I'm very familiar with PEG channels across the country. CGS would be happy to help with the process of coming up with a solution, and uh, we're here for you, and LA36 is great programming. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm here representing the Los Angeles World Affairs Council, the third largest such organization in our nation. We believe that a well-informed citizenry is essential to the health of a democracy, and to that end, we host for over 50 years events that feature notable speakers, including every sitting, pre sitting president since Dwight Eisenhower. As we endeavor to disseminate the content of those events, our affiliation with LA36 is essential to our success, and we strongly encourage this council to continue funding, funding for LA36. Thank you. Uh, my name is Louis Moreno, and I'm a public access producer with LA36. Uh, I want to just say that uh, LA36 is, is a great channel that I started in, and we don't only cover the world of sports. We just started doing a segment Coming up, uh, we call it now Community Wrap-Up, where we go to the different council districts and we cover uh, their events there, like the Lotus Festival, we've gone to Councilman Parks' district, we took the Coliseum area, we've gone to Councilman uh, Gar uh, Garcetti, we took the Lotus Festival. So we did a little five-minute segment, but we get all the newsletters of all the councilmen on my email and we mention it on our sports show and we talk a little bit about what's happening through our city. And it's not only covering the, the community, but are covering our little kids and seeing those kids being on TV. Uh, we've had Councilman Weezer on our show. We're asking Councilman Rosendahl and we're trying to teach them an education that if they're councilmen, they could be the same thing. So LA36 just teaches them a wide variety of education. So our sports show continues going on. Please look at LA36. It's a great channel. And we're not only a, just a community sports, but worldwide show our beautiful city of LA. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And I want to thank this council for its past help when we were in need at Channel 36. My name is Randy Rosenblum. I've helped with the sports over the last seven years at LA 36. And it's not about me and it's really not about the staff when it comes to sports. It's about the kids that we're able to feature doing positive things True. in Los Angeles. If we go away, there is no other channel for them to show their skills and show their positive things that they're doing for society. We all hear about the negative on the news channels. I don't want to hear about another stabbing at Hamilton. I want to know about a touchdown at Roosevelt. True. Now, and it's also about the stories, the goodwill, the stories that we bring to this city. And I'll, I'll leave you with the story that we will have Saturday when we do the Battle of the Valley out at Cal State Northridge. It's a couple all-star basketball games. There's a young girl. African American, came from a broken home, adopted by a coach, Andre Chevalier and Michelle Chevalier. The Chevaliers adopt her, she goes to Chatsworth High School, leads them to their first city championship, 
and now she has love in her family, and she has a future going to the University of California. That's the story for Saturday. That's the story for this week. We'll have stories in the future. I hope we have a place, a platform to present them to you. We've done a great job over the years showing what these kids do in a positive light. We need to continue that. Thank you very much, and again, thank you for your positive support in the past. Thank you. My name is John Aguirre. I am the Assistant Commissioner for the CIF Los Angeles City Section, which includes 30,000 student athletes and performing groups within the Los Angeles Unified School District and member charter schools. I am here to express my support for the <clears throat> for and request the consideration for continued funding of LA 36 television programming. The benefits of their services to our community are vast. <clears throat> and the professional style of programming has allowed our students to experience greater exposure through the televising of sports and performing events using a quality format. LA 36 has made exceptional efforts to be inclusive of all segments of our community, from San Pedro to Silmar, Woodland Hills to Eagle Rock, East Los Angeles to Venice, and every community in between. <clears throat> LA 36 has not only showcased the high profile sports and programs, but has made a conscious effort to give airtime to schools that traditionally may not have the opportunity for that exposure. <clears throat> Speaking on behalf of athletics, I believe the relationship established between LA 36 and the LAUSD Interscholastic Athletics Office speaks volumes of the potential for strengthening the partnership between LAUSD and the City of Los Angeles, a partnership necessary to provide the students with the necessary support to allow them the, to set higher standards and expectations visualize new goals and the necessary support to compete in today's society. Okay. Good afternoon. I am Carla Carlini, President and General Manager of LA 36. I'd like to begin by telling you that our organization is very cognizant of the budget crisis that the city faces. However, any cut to our operating grant this year will be detrimental to our organization. In fact, if our operating grant is cut, we will shut our doors effective July 1st. As you all know, our relationship is built on more than a decade of time. There's been a lot of investment on the part of the city. There's been a lot of investment on the part of our nonprofit corporation. When we began, the mandate was that we would be funded by franchise fees funneled by the cable companies and paid for by the cable subscribers. This is something that LA cable subscribers pay for, channels like ours. In addition, we've been asked to supplement that grant with our own revenue, and we have done so to a great extent. The last three years alone, we've brought in an additional $250,000 to $400,000. We do good work at LA 36. I implore you to please continue funding us operating-wise. We really need your help. Thank Men's you. Chorus of Los Angeles. The chorus has for 30 years been acting as an ambassador both on behalf of the city when we travel and to the city itself in reaching the many communities that can't or uh, won't or aren't able to come to the theaters where we perform around the city. We were delighted to find LA 36. They now broadcast all our shows and we know that we have gained new members and been able to transmit a message of social justice to the city more broadly because of LA 36. And it's probably the only place that you'll see sports and gay men in close proximity to each other. So we encourage you to support it for that reason and the many other reasons that you've heard here this afternoon. Thank you for your time.